So a few years ago, I was working on artificial intelligence machine learning. And as one of the projects, we wanted to see if there's a way to speed up really annoying activities that engineers have to do, like pain points again. Um, one of the things we noticed is people often is they would spin the model around, especially when you have intricate parts and you're just basically select, 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 because you're trying to apply something as a, simple as a fillet or a chamfer on many edges, but they may not be contiguous. So you can't just like say, get everything on this connected path, but they're all over the place. But they have similar uh, behave, similar parameters. Um, so we decided to use uh, the technology we were working on to help people predict if they selected an edge and they say, okay, can you just tell me where all of the other ones that looks just like this on this model so that I can all at once apply the same thing onto all of them. So we call it a, well, we, we had internal names for it, but this is a selection helper. So I have this uh, snowflake that it was one of the projects we did early on. I think it was, I mean, this might be very appropriate. We have a snowstorm of a, a beast a northeast but um for i think around the holiday season we wanted to make this ex outdoor decoration that had you know led lights behind it and it kind of glows and it's a nice look so we wanted to see and see this out um so I, I basically designed this um, model but i'm using it as an example because it has a lot of intricate uh cutouts um, probably not as much as most people have if they have, for example, um, like a lattice structure that they or some sort of vent area that has lots of cutouts. But I wanted to show, for example, you know, these little inside cuts are very, they're identical. But um, if I wanted to apply similar chamfers or fillets to them, it would be quite annoying to have to go in and click all the edges to kind of round it all off. So in comes, so let me go ahead and do, I can either... Select something and say, I want to chamfer or fill it, or you can actually get the tool right from the bottom. So let's go into this. Just as I go in, you'll see there's a little like, hey, look at me, I am designing and helping you. So because I kind of selected something and came with down here, I get it in context of where my mouse is. But let me let me come out of this. If I didn't and just launch this fill it command immediately, It'll say, go ahead and pick where you want to apply this to. When I do pick it, again, you'll see this little, hey, help, help. This is a design assistance. So that's what it's called for selection. If I say, yes, please help me out. You'll see that it not only caught the one that I selected, but 23 more, which is top, bottom, top, bottom. They're all identical. I don't have to click 23 times. I'm just automatically getting it. So I said, yes, please collect all of them. Now you can define how much of a, Fill it you wanted, I think maybe I'm making a number up. But if I wanted to round it maybe that little bit, it should apply. And now you, very subtle, but you can see that every one of those edges now have a fillet applied to it. So that's a very quick way of applying something. And oh, what I didn't show, let me just get back to that is you don't have to just do one application. You can actually have multiple seed selections. So if I click this and it gives me the first 23, let's say I wanted the entire heart-shaped thing, I can actually click yet another one. It'll continue to provide more. And it just basically is getting, you basically training the searcher a little bit more of what you're looking for. Once you see that it is everything you're looking for, 69, plus the three that you selected. You said, yeah, uh, yeah. let's see, I'm good with that. It'll in enter all of those edges right into the selection box. And you can just, you know, let's maybe try a bigger one so we can see it. Uh, quarter inch maybe. Yeah, there you go. So all of those inside heart shape cutouts, you see that we've now applied that quarter inch round over. We're trying to see if maybe we can get this feature to even more areas. But right now it's in uh, just a few features right now, still trying to get data um, on how best to help everyone. Um, like I said, like vent surfaces, things that you see lots of cutouts um, or even just lots of little ups and downs across the surface. You can just apply chamfers and um, fillets. So I can imagine maybe cutting people's work down more than half for sure. <laughs>